The key is realizing that the number of times a locker is touched is the same as the number of factors in the locker number. For example, in locker number 6, person 1 will open it, person 2 will close it, person 3 will open it, and person 6 will close it. The numbers 1, 2, 3, and 6 are the factors of 6. So when a locker has an even number of factors, it'll remain closed, and when it has an odd number of factors, it'll remain open. Most of the lockers have an even number of factors, which makes sense, because factors naturally pair up. In fact, the only lockers that have an odd number of factors are perfect squares, because those have one factor that, when multiplied by itself, equals the number. For locker 9, 1 will open it, 3 will close it, and 9 will open it. 3 times 3 equals 9, but the 3 can only be counted once. Therefore, every locker that is a perfect square will remain open. You know that these 10 lockers are the solution, so you open them immediately and read the words inside. The code is the first five lockers touched only twice. You realize that the only lockers touched twice have to be prime numbers, since each only has two factors, one and itself. So the code is 235711. The lawyer brings you to the safe, and you claim your inheritance. Too bad your relatives were always too busy being nasty to each other to pay attention to your eccentric uncle's riddles. Thank you.